everyone. Happy Monday. You're watching Atlanta & Company. I'm Christine Pallara. Great to be with you today. Funded in 1972, Brown College of Court Reporting has grown its international educational programs to meet the changing needs of the court reporting industry. The quality of their graduates, high placement rate, and strong reputation within the industry are just of the few reasons why Brown College has grown to become a leader in court reporting education. Joining us now is Senior Admissions Officer Carlette Jennings and Debbie Hennings, who's a current court reporter and graduate of the school. Welcome, ladies. Good Thank morning. You. Thank you. Were you typing everything I was saying? I was. Oh, that's I was so trying. cool. <laughs> oh, Debbie, before we get to your story, Carlette, tell us about the college. Well, as you said, we have a nearly 40-year history of training court reporters here in Georgia. As a matter of fact, we're Georgia's only court reporting college that's approved by the National Court Reporters Association. And what's really exciting right now is that with the current technology, there are different methods of training in this profession. We have Stenography, which is the more traditional sure. method as you see here. That's what Debbie's doing. Exactly. Okay. And then we also have voice writing, where we use voice recognition technology to transcribe by voice as opposed to manually. Um, Brown incredible. Isn't it? Uh, Brown College students have their choice between steno or voice, and we offer day and evening classes in both. Okay, terrific. And now, Debbie, <laughs> I, stop working. <laughs> no, we yeah, I can't do both at the same I, time. I know, it's incredible. <laughs> well, why did you choose Brown College? What made you decide to pursue this career? Um, I worked in corporate Amer America for a long time, and I decided I want wanted something with a little more flexibility with my family. So um, I did a little bit of research and I decided on Brown College and went to night school for four years and have loved it ever since. Good for you. And I was asking you before the show, you've been doing it for almost 20 years? Uh -huh. That mm -hmm. is incredible. Mm -hmm. So clearly you do enjoy it. I do. And you get a lot out of it that, you know, uh, when, you're, when you're watching movies, for instance, and you're, and you're looking at people doing this, you, you do often think, like, what is the training that goes into that? Because I, I know there's both the technical training, but also what is the other type of emotional training? Because you have to be stoic and detached, I imagine, when you're dealing with some of these you, you know, you issues. Are, yeah, you're supposed to, and, and as you and I were just talking about, sometimes it's difficult. Sometimes, you know, as a court reporter, you do get emotional, but you are supposed to remain biased and not show emotion. Um, the, the training is tough, and it's a little bit different than a normal you know just academic college because you have to master a skill right. and some people do that quicker than others for example I mean I got through night school in four years which was actually pretty quick um, but you have to be able to master uh, taking down the spoken word at 225 words a minute. Unbelievable. So, 225. Yeah. So, uh, Jeff, show a little bit. If, just type a little something so we can see how it pops up. I mean, that's just incredible. And what is the average? You say 225. Like, on you, typical, what, what do I, I mean? I feel like I'm a pretty fast typer being in this I business. I would say you're about 200 listening to you. Oh, really? <laughs> you're speaking. Okay. Yeah, about 200. And yeah. so you have to, oh, my yeah. gosh. So in order to be certified yeah. as a court reporter in the state, you have to be certified at 225 words a minute. Unbelievable. Yeah. Carla, you were talking about some of the different avenues that somebody might pursue in order to work in the field. Give mm -hmm. us more details on that. There are a lot of different employment opportunities for a court reporting graduate. Um, one of the more popular opportunities is to work for a court reporting agency where you can work freelance. Uh, they do a lot of deposition reporting. Right. You can also work full time for our courts at the state, local, and federal level. Um, we've even had students work on international cases. We've had students go as far as Tanzania to oh my gosh. Uh, work on the Rwanda war crime trials. So a lot of different opportunities, even television captioning. Oh, we have right. some Close graduates, yeah. exactly. We have some graduates that use their skills for the closed captions you see on your television. And let's talk about the average salary, because you know a lot of people right now, in the last few years, they've been faced with, what am I going to do with my career? Do I want to make a switch? Is now the time to make a switch? So what's the average salary? According to the National Court Reporters Association, the average salary is about 62000 annually. That's good money. Exactly. And your top reporters often earn six figures. Unbelievable. And you talked about it offering you flexibility, Debbie. So, you know, as you're out in corporate America, you're working maybe later nights. 
uh, the, the nice limitations with this are is that when you're in court or during a typical day when you're going to be taking depositions, that's when you're going to be working, right? Exactly. And I do, I'm a freelance worker, a freelance court so reporter, as opposed to an official yeah. who works in the court and it's, you know, typically nine to five. I go out and just take depositions all over. So I do that and then I go back to my home office and do my editing and, you know, production work there. Right. That's terrific. And let's talk about how viewers can learn more about how to get involved and how to attend the school. Um, well, our admissions representatives are in the office right now ready to take your call. <laughs> <Good>. So you <laughs> can Numbers call right us there. at 404-876-1227. Um, we do have a breakfast at Brown coming up, and that's an information session for anyone who's available. It's going to be Saturday, December 3rd, so definitely call for more details about that. That's going to be a great information session and campus tour. And Carla, if you just had to name some, some qualities in somebody who would go to pursue this, or Debbie, I guess I could be asking you this too. What are the things that you think if you like to do X, Y, and Z, then you will love this? Give our viewers a little sample. Of um, what you know, your I guess if, you've, if, you've, if you're a good typist, if you like that sort of thing, mm -hmm. um, I know a lot of piano players can grasp the skill pretty quickly. Oh, um, interesting. If, and depending on what you want to do, if, you, if you're a freelance court reporter, you like to meet new people every day and get out and go different places. It's a, it's a great career for you. Okay, terrific. Ladies, thank you both for being here. Again, when was that breakfast so everybody can write it down? Saturday, December 3rd, okay. breakfast at Brown. Um, we also offer individual tours throughout the week. Okay, terrific. And where are you located? We're located here in Atlanta off of I-75 and Howell Mill Road. Terrific. Easy to get to. Thank you so much, ladies. We appreciate your time so much. And for more information about Brown College of Court Reporting, give them a call. As she said, it's 404-876-1227 or visit their website, bccr.edu.